Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today is October 1st, the final quarter of 2024. And the reason I'm recording this video is to bring positive manifestation to the new set of goals that I'm going to try to achieve before 2024 ends or by the time it ends. And also understanding that I have full control over the direction of my life. So over the last two weeks, you may or may not have known, I was struggling quite a bit with what happened two weeks ago. I was in a bit of drawdown with both my emotional and mental capital, with my training performance, kept falling short every single time. And I found myself in a really toxic cycle of bad thoughts and buying and blowing accounts, buying, passing, and then blowing funded accounts. And all within a span of two weeks, it led me to feel like maybe I should just stop trading altogether. Maybe I should step away from social media altogether and come back 2025 when I feel like I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. But I owe it to my past, present, and future self to not give up. It's a lot easier to take that path, and especially when you're feeling really down, when you feel like you don't have it in you anymore to keep going, and especially when you feel so disappointed, embarrassed, and ashamed of yourself because of what you've thought and what you've done to put you in that place. That's why I thought maybe leaving altogether was the best idea. But as I mentioned, I owe it to myself to keep it going. I also owe it to the people around me, the ones that support me and want me to like be successful and to succeed in what my goals are and why I fall short on myself and the people around me when I know there's so much more that I can do. This is all a temporary testing phase, a challenge phase to myself in my mental and emotional capital and my trading journey. It's all a challenge where it's testing me to see if I have what it takes to keep it going, especially when I feel like everything has been taken away. But it hasn't been taken away. The time that I've spent on the charts, the time that I've spent trading, the time I've spent in the community, all of this stuff can't be taken away that easily simply because I lost a few accounts or simply because I fell short on my trading plan. That doesn't define what my future is going to be because I have control over what the direction and what my future can look like. So the positive manifestation is one thing. I do think it's important to have a positive attitude and I'm wholeheartedly really trying to work on having a better attitude when it comes to my trading. It's very easy for me to beat myself up when I perform poorly, when I don't like succeed in following my training plan or also when I don't have a green day it's just a lot easier to beat myself up if I don't reach these set goals but there's a lot more that goes into trading than just simply that and I have to recognize that because there's going to be a lot of factors in my plan a lot of factors to be successful I shouldn't beat myself up if I don't follow one out of the five or ten or twenty things that I'm supposed to be doing uh, furthermore I do want to say too with the positive attitude is that it's also applicable in life. You know, there's so many amazing things to be grateful for. If we are talking in terms of trading, I mean, as a retail trader, we have access to all of these different brokerages that you can use. You have access to prop firms if you um, want to get better leverage with capital. You have the ability to get free demo accounts to practice on the side with paper money. There's so many great things in training that you can use that's free. Even YouTube, you can learn things for free there through Twitter, through Discord, through bunch of different live streams there's so many options and then outside of the trading space you can be grateful for the roof over your head food on the table fresh water to drink a working car that can take you to and from places so i really want to emphasize that if i'm able to continue building my character outside of trading i wholeheartedly believe it will build my character in trading one of the things that I'm focusing on to ensure I build my discipline and definitely the consistency in my life is one, having a routine. So I'm trying to get a better understanding and better management of what my routine is going to be for the rest of this year, but also pushing myself to go to the gym. I feel like doing hard things in life can really help build who you are. And I've always been pretty consistent with going to the gym except for the last month to two months. And because of that, I can see how it's affecting the way that I am in the charts. So by rebuilding myself up in that space, I do believe that it will also help me in my trading performance. And then finally, as I mentioned, I have a new set of goals I would like to reach and that I'm going to push for. And as time goes on, of course, I will try to keep you guys updated if I'm able to accomplish them. But the goal is to always, like obviously, do all of them. 
Um, but if you guys would like to, you know, maybe participate in this quarter four 2024 challenge of having some goals written out for yourself and checking them off as you go and seeing if you're able to kind of knuckle all the way through the rest of this year, that'd be really cool. Comment down below if you guys want to do that. Um, but I do want to say thank you guys so much again for your support over the last two weeks when it all happened while I was gone. And also while I'm coming back into social media again after my little two week break, it really means a lot. And so I really hope that you guys are doing well and wish you guys nothing but the best and most success in all that you do. And I will see you guys all in the next video.